Good evening, folks. On this 7th of March, I pray that might be blessed as we delve again into Scripture. Over those last few days, we looked at topics like humility and faith. Well, this evening, we continue to, to think about these kind of things when we turn to the Psalms. Psalm 118, verse 8, which says that it's better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. Let's see how Spurgeon elaborates on this passage for us. Doubtless the reader has been tried with the temptation to rely upon the things which are seen instead of resting alone upon the invisible God. Christians often look to man for help and counsel and mar the noble simplicity of their reliance upon their God. Does this evening's portion meet the eye of a child of God anxious about temporals? Then would we reason with him a while? We trust in Jesus and only in Jesus for your salvation. Why then, then why are you troubled? Because of thy great care, is it not written? Cast thy burden upon the Lord, be careful, careful for nothing, and in everything by prayer and supplication make known your wants unto God. Cannot you trust God for temporals? Ah, I wish I could. If you cannot trust God for temporals, how dare you trust him for spirituals? Can you trust him for your soul's redemption and not rely upon him for a few lesser mercies? Is not God enough for thy needs? Or is his all-sufficiency too narrow for thy wants? Dost thou want another eye beside that of him who sees every secret thing? Is his heart faint? Is his arm weary? If so, seek another God. If he be infinite, omnipotent, faithful, true, and all-wise, why gaddest thou abroad so much to seek another confidence? Why dost thou rake the earth to find another foundation, when this is strong enough to bear all the weight which thou canst ever build thereon? Christian, mix not only thy wine with water, do not alloy thy gold of faith with the dross of human confidence. Wait thou only upon God, and let thine expectation be from him. Covet not Jonah's gourd, but rest in Jonah's God. Let the sandy foundations of terrestrial trust be the choice of fools. But do thou, like one who foresees the storm, build for thyself an abiding place upon the rock of ages. It is much for us to, to think about this evening as we put our trust in God. So until the next time, God bless. Take care. Bye for now.